Gene, where are we right now? We are in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, in the heart of the Chippewa Valley. And is Chippewa a big town, small town? Uh, it's a pretty small town, 13,000, 14,000 people. Okay. And how long has your shop been here in Chippewa? Uh, since 1989. I started the business in 1981. 1981? Mm-hmm. So you've been doing this for quite a while. I have been, yeah. Well, what, what uh, first inspired you about working with wood? Well, back in high school, uh, I just started designing furniture. Instead of doing the, the, the shop projects that they had you do, I started to design and build my own furniture. And I just got something in my heart that said, you know, this is, this is what I want to do with my life, is to build furniture. And you've been doing it ever since? Been doing it ever since. So what would you say are the most popular questions that you get from your potential customers? Hmm. Twofold. I would say the first one is people ask me, is this really made out of real wood? And I assure them that it is. And the second one is, is it really made in America? And which again, I assure them that it is made in America. In fact, it's made right over there. Right over there in that shop? Yes. All right. Well, can we go take a look? Let's go take a look. Okay. Well, it's a lot cooler in here than it is outside. Ah, uh, yes, it is. I keep my shop completely climate controlled, air conditioned in the summer, controlled the humidity in the winter. Very important for making good solid oak furniture. So where do you start? How does this all begin? The process starts over here. I work up a production schedule. So I put together a list of the panels that I need. And I start with the raw lumber. And this is where I, uh, first thing I do is I chop everything to length. Okay. And then uh, as those come over to this saw, uh, this is my straight line rip saw, and this is where I take all the boards. You have to rip them on either side so it's a nice straight board. And then I build the panels on uh, this conveyor. And from there, they're stacked onto a cart. Okay. And then I roll the cart over to my glue bench. And this is where I actually glue up the panels so that they're, they're pressed in, into place so that we get a nice flat panel. Mm -hmm. And this is actually a stack of panels that I glued up last Friday. Uh, this is actually seven TV stands, and by the end of the week, they will be completely finished and ready to go into a box. So the next thing we need to do is process that panel, and so we put the panel through my finish planer. Okay. And then from there, it goes over to the wide belt sander. And then from the wide belt sander, we bring it over to the CNC router. Uh, this cuts it to the right size, and then I get the profile edge on it. So after the tops and all the parts and legs are processed, they come into the finishing area. And all those parts are either put on the racks here or they're hung off these parts here. And from there, one by one, I bring them into the finishing room. Now this is the actual spray booth. It's a three-step finishing process. Stain, seal, top coat. <clears throat> and as I bring the panels in, I can lay the panels on here and spin them so I can spray all four sides. Everything that's racked, I put it across here and then I can spin these as I spray them. And this is this is the key to a, a quality finish. Without that, you don't have quality furniture. So the last step of the process is packaging and shipping. Uh, after everything is finished, I bring them into this room, stage everything ready for shipping. And then this is the bench that I actually assemble the pieces on. I lay the box down and then I, I actually build the TV stand right here. And then after it's built, I just wrap the packing around it, put a box over it, Pull the flaps up, staple tape it, it goes off the bench, straight to that door, FedEx picks it and takes it to the customer. Mm -hmm.